Bill. Come in. What's hey, up, what's up, man? How's it going? How you doing? Woo! What do you think? Oh my God. Go! I've been working for almost two years to land this Edgemere property. The owners, Howard and Alexa, had such a vision and they built the perfect property. I'm here to make the final pitch to Bill, the builder and developer. I want my name on this listing before any agent gets a chance to approach Bill or Howard, or Alexa, or anybody. All right, show me around. So the situation. kitchen? Wow. Small granites throughout. This we is one full slab? One full slab, custom hood vent. So you can't get this anywhere else? No. Oh my God, that is sick. Did you build that? Or did you get somebody? No, 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 you didn't do that. <laughs> I'm good, I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This summer has been really tough for me, being a buyer's agent in a very competitive seller's market. But I'm somebody that understands that you gotta work your ass off and say, I'm gonna get this property, it's gonna get done. I mean, the best view is right when you walk in. Uh, I noticed. Right custom windows, right? 50 custom windows and doors. Wow. This is that custom window feel. This is what you get. And then you get to look out at this. Yeah, open it up, just let the breeze come in. Show me more, oh my god. <laughs> OK. So the pool actually has like a, it has a child auto safety cover. So it opens and closes. That's beautiful. Then you have a full outdoor kitchen. I mean, there's not one part of this house that's not perfect. You really don't need anything more. So this is the primary. So once again, windows everywhere. First thing I see is a Juliet balcony and all these beautiful boats. I don't even want to leave this room. I could probably just live in here. So we still have the best room of the house. I can't wait to see this. This is one of my favorite views. I'm Kate Winslet, you're Leonardo. <laughs> I am not holding you. <laughs> People want something like this. This is full escapism. This is really summer. This is Southampton. This is something special. I would do nothing different with this house. I mean that with all my heart, would you? I think Howard, like, well thought this house out. 100%. And, like, it's definitely going to be hard to convince him to sell the house. People sometimes build homes on the intention of selling it and making some good dough, but then they fall in love with it. And that's a realtor's worst nightmare. I cannot have that happen here. So, so some of their worries are what? It, it's more of the fact that there's an emotional kind of side to this now. Is that the kind of situation we're in? They're very attached to it, yeah. So you definitely would have to bring a good offer. Now, one thing with Howard is he, he wants the right number, and he's a businessman at the end of the day. If it comes to it and we get that number, that would bring them to, to the finish line to make a deal. You know, I know they would move forward with it. So I, I'm extremely confident that $12 million is a number that we can hit on this property. The market that we're in, how this house was built, it's incredible, with it's the perfect. the market nowadays, I think you can easily hit that number. I'm ready to sell it, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about selling it. I'd be worried about selling Howard. I understand. <laughs> All right, let's do it here. How much have we been working? I'm gonna drink. So why do you think Bianca called us here? I have no freaking clue. I would love to know. Why does she think she's the boss of everything? I don't know. That's a great question. Should we call her out a little bit? The boss of the Hamptons? Yeah, she we just got here. Out. She just got here. Just calm down, all right? We, we've been doing this for 30 years. You, you, you're doing they the Hamptons? No, doing, I know. I'm not trying to. do the Hamptons. I know. Let's go. Hi. Hey, What's up, guys? Yo? How are you doing, guys? Good. Great. We just grabbed a coffee if you want to get some. OK, yeah. Oh. Ooh, cried my eyes out. Hey, <laughs> What's up, buddy? Can I have three unsweetened iced teas when you get a chance? Bianca has summoned us. Seems a bit demanding. Yeah, <laughs> she's like a boss. Right? You think Bianca's being too demanding? Uh, I'm gonna get a water, actually. Yeah. Do you, do you a little bit. I mean, water, it's just like last maybe. second things, and get there on time and do this. Or here, where's she? JB thinks this is his turf because he grew up here, and I get it. He did. He has every right to feel that way. But I think Michael and JB may feel a little intimidated. I mean, we're just such a beautiful crew. Oh, nice. Is Bianca coming or? Yeah. It's Monday. We got a lot of. <laughs>
Yeah. The way you guys are talking right now, you would think they're the most punctual you people on earth. You guys make it look like you guys are the only ones that have been going on. Like we all got, they were just we're hanging out for five, ten minutes. Well, now that they are on time, they, they yeah. talk about you're totally. one second late. <laughs> <laughs> know that they're coming and what time they're arriving. Look what's coming. All right, all right, thanks, bye. Hi. Hi. Hello. I mean, how are you? Hello. Amazing. Finally here. Yeah. I know. Sorry. Very busy. Planning, planning for a big Happy. event. Yes. How's, How's it going? going? Did I just walk into something? Wow. They're upset because you're late. <laughs> Sorry, right. guys. Yeah. I like to put it on the table. So put it on the table. <laughs> I called the team here today to talk about the showcase. This is an event that Peggy and I have been planning for a little while now, and we've curated all of the clients we have coming. We're covering all of the expenses, the transportation, the housing, so that we can present properties that fit all of their criteria. Having pools on the water, enjoying the sunset, new construction, these homes fit that box. We have seven buyers coming to this event, so we need to make sure that they're seeing us at our absolute best. I'm sorry that I'm late and everyone has a busy day, but we'll keep this really efficient. As you know, there's a lot going on. Planning for one of our kickoff events of the year is our Hampton Showcase. So, yes. So it's important that everyone's on the same page for when the clients get here tomorrow. What is the goal of this our, program? Well, our yeah. clients yeah, that we've actually like hand selected and picked aren't, aren't just random clients that we just did an e-blast and we said, hey, we're throwing this event, come. Yeah. We hand selected yes. them that we've been working with and we picked ones that are similar, looking for similar things. They're all kind of in a similar stage of life where right. they're young professionals, very entrepreneurial in tech. So what could be the cost of taking somebody to three homes, getting all these buyers out from Manhattan to the east end of the Hamptons? We're shaking out about $25,000 for the event. Wow. But when you put a bunch of buyers who are all ready to transact in a room together at all properties that are going to be at the top of their list, if not one, or two, or hopefully all three homes get sold, it's, it's great for everyone here. Right, right. Listen, I get it. Michael and JB have owned this market for a while. And I think the boys club's always going to exist to some extent, but I'm doing everything in my power to change that. And this showcase event is going to be incredible. This has never been done before. So for Manhattan girls to come out here and pull, pull in a caravan of buyers, I think is gonna be very interesting. Am I nervous it's gonna go really bad? Yes, but if anybody <laughs> can pull it off. That? No, no, if anybody can pull it off, it's you guys. But this is the first of its kind. I've not seen it before. It's, it's ambitious. It's, ambitious. it's, it's a lot. Wait, so Bianca just texted me. She said, she said to put the white cloth underneath this. But I think the contrast of this and the table is good. They don't have an extra one. I just asked. This one. So they put the put. They, they need this for a... the buffet. No, this I is outside of my wheelhouse, table. Sarah. But this looks really pretty. I'm happy you like it. This is really exciting. It's the first event at the Hampton Showcase, and Bianca and Peggy want me to be the point person on the ground and make sure everything is running smoothly and there's no hiccups. And it makes sense. They know I'm used to working with a certain clientele. I know the expectations that people who are looking to buy homes at this price point have. I know what they want. They want everything to be perfect. They have a higher expectation for us. And if they don't buy any of these houses that we're showing them, they can still work with us and buy the house well, that they want. Take it easy. It's Peggy and Bianca's clients. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to start that drama. <laughs> I definitely still need to confront Kenny about what happened in Sandcastle the other day, but this is not the time to do it. I've learned over the years that mixing personal drama when clients are around is never a good idea. Let's do it. Beautiful. This is beautiful, right? This yeah. Love it. I love it. You guys like some rose? So you probably didn't even notice it because it's like a piece of art behind us here. But this is the lower level of the pool. Oh my gosh. The pool is up on the second floor. 
He built this so it could be all year round. Your fireplace, heat lamps, Amazing. already built in. Yeah. That's amazing. We've been spending a lot more time yep. here not going back and forth to the exactly. city as much. Yep. So this is this a great time. So yeah. many people used to think of the Hamptons as being so seasonal. Right. It's not anymore. Right. With planning this event, Peggy and I wanted to make sure that we hand-selected buyers who were actively looking, who would also put a little bit of pressure on each other because it's not normal to shop for homes as a group activity. I brought Alberto and Sam out from the city for the showcase because I thought that they would be the perfect buyers to be looking at these waterfront properties. They're young, they're entrepreneurial, they made a tremendous amount of money in crypto in the past year, and they're looking for a second home. I don't know if you guys met Jimmy yet. Hi. This is no. Jimmy, this Hi, is Jimmy. his Oxana, listing. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I have two sets of clients here, Anthony and Oksana, who are boaters, and Chris, who's representing his friends and family who are a group of investors. In addition to our clients, we wanted to make it a full house, so we invited the owner, some of his friends, so that our clients can really get the feel of what it's like to go to an event in the Hamptons. So everything we did here was to keep an open concept. We were trying to bring all the light in, obviously, on a nice day like this. There's over 46 cabinets here, so for everybody who likes storage and obviously cooking, there's more than enough space. Yeah. So, guys. JB, I've lost, I lost JB. No, we only need two people. Yeah, but okay, let's do this. Hi, I'm back again. I know. <laughs> you <t> but <laughs> she was talking earlier, it was like, I thought it was like a doll or something, but I didn't know it was gonna act an actual mermaid. As soon as I saw that mermaid, I said, that's a perfect waste of a few thousand dollars. But you know what? I'll take one for the team, I'll put a mermaid in the pool. Pick her up. There we go. Sleep. <laughs> Amazing. Don't just like throw me in. Yeah, just yeah. like sit me down by the there yeah. we go. <laughs> yeah. By the cultures. Right? Oh. oh, thank you. Okay. Oh my god, how cool is this? Oh, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. There she goes. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Dude, that's legit. I mean, how cool is that? Was so this is exactly what we needed to really just like, it was like the last little sprinkle of joy that we needed at this party. You wanna give us a tour? Yeah, we can us? run around quick. There's not too many opportunities where you could be on the water in the Hamptons, especially in this price range. So the primary has the greatest views. This is Woolies Pond. One of the best ponds out here for boating because it's a natural harbor. These doors, both of them open entirely. Yeah, so they completely open up. open up the room. So these go all the way in. You have your fireplace with Venetian plaster all around. Sweet. See, this is why I wanted to get you here for sunset. <laughs> <laughs> you brought them at the right time. Yes. So because we're on the water in the Hamptons, it's very hard to have a waterside pool. It took two and a half years for them to get permits. What they ended up negotiating is putting the pool on the second floor. That cost 500000 just for the pool. I love the way they fit it in. Yeah. And it, I love how you could see it downstairs. When you just come out and rent, you yeah. go to the main <laughs> target spots, but you don't really yeah. get to see the neighborhoods and all yeah, the little like the whole, bays. Yeah. 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 So we'll, we'll try to accomplish that over the next couple of days. And it would be nice for us to do a deal they together. Would. We haven't done a deal yet. Not yet. Maybe in the glass house. Peggy needs to be patient about the glass house. These things take time, but there's definitely a way to make these things go faster, and it's called all cash, and it's called full ask. Just want to say thank you for taking your time out. Thanks to the team for helping orchestrate this amazing cocktail. We just want to say cheers, and for everyone that's going to join us tomorrow, we'll see you bright and early. <laughs> <laughs>
Does he see us? He's really having fun with us. You know? Like maybe a little too much. <laughs> God, Miami is showy. Our group of agents, we work really hard, but we like to have fun. But fun in a controlled environment. Here, I think Kenny might be crossing the line. And it's somewhat embarrassing. 